Hey, welcome back and thank you for joining me today as we continue to talk about negotiating conflict and seeking compromise. So the first action step is to draw up the plan. When you choose to seek compromise, rather than arguing, rather than being in conflict, there are three possible types of compromise. The first one being that 50-50 agreement where you meet in the middle and you make an agreement there. The second one would be where it's maybe less than a 50-50 agreement or maybe you choose one person's idea over the other after you talk through it peacefully. Or maybe you choose the third option and is that we will meet again later. You agree to disagree and perhaps you're gonna revisit in the future or maybe it's something that you can just choose to live with just agreeing to disagree. Now, you can never avoid conflict. Conflict is gonna come. We just need to learn how to adjust our reaction to it, how we choose to handle the conflict. We need to choose that peaceful, harmonious attitude and we'll see conflict as a step toward positive change in our homes. Second step is that do it yourself step that I talk about every week. Some of us are naturally good at conflict and coming up with compromise. Some might compromise too much and then that can build later resentments. Or maybe perhaps some of you watching today are more of a it's my way or the highway or maybe someone else in your family is a it's my way or the highway kind of attitude that never really want to compromise, they just want their way. These can be difficult things to handle. We all truly have room to change in our attitudes about conflict resolution. And that's the number one thing that we all need to do is to change that attitude. The third step that all in budget, we need all the family to be all into this home improvement goal. When, and one of the first things that you can do that would make a huge difference is to agree to call a time out in your family. When conflict comes, just agree that you're gonna take a time out to help everybody kind of gather their thoughts. This is a great time to just live out what we've learned in James 1.19, to be slow to speak and then quick to listen and very slow to become angry. And when you see success and you've taken that time out and you've come back together, celebrate that success and really encourage your children when they accept a compromise that you have been working on with them. Especially as our children get older and they have more opinions and more ideas and they're seeking more independence, working on that with them, encourage them when they agree to a compromise that you've had to set as a parent. The next step is that sweat equity, that hard work. This is a lot of hard work. Learning how to work through conflict in a healthy way and accepting compromise can be a lot of hard work. Increasing compromise to resolve conflict is going to require some serious sweat equity. Sometimes it's even easier to just fight for what you want than to try to learn how and work through a compromise because that can be a lot of work. So just a few things, a few ways, practical tips to help you to learn to work toward that compromise. And the first one is to put down that tug of war rope. Just quit trying to pull for your own way. Just put down that imaginary tug of war rope. Listen to each other with love. Truly listen to your spouse and to your children and let them share their ideas, whether you agree with them or not. Recognize that all middle ground isn't equal. Sometimes in a compromise you can meet 50-50, but oftentimes you've got to sway to one side or the other and you've got to be willing to choose that peaceful, harmonious attitude, which is that next one I'm gonna share with you is to change your attitude. Seek that peaceful, harmonious attitude. And remember that compromise starts with a do-it-yourself attitude. You have to be willing to do it yourself before you can expect someone else in your family to do it also. And finally, you'll be on to the last step, that big reveal. How is that looking in your family? How is this compromise coming along? You will start to see more peaceful, harmonious attitudes as you all put in the sweat equity and start to help and encourage each other and you choose that peaceful, harmonious attitude. So I just wanna encourage you that if you're facing conflict in your family, that that is normal and it will never completely go away. But what we can do is we can change our attitudes and we can learn a godly way to handle conflict and come to a compromise in a way that builds our family up and builds us as a team. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.